Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Today, we're playing more of Apex Legends, and we're checking out each of the characters and seeing what can we learn, what can we glean from the characters of Apex Legends. If you do not know what Apex Legends is, it is a new Battle Royale game coming out, for, or came out, or has just come out, from Respawn Entertainment, the guys behind Titanfall 2. And it feels like they've actually placed this within the same universe. So it's actually been really fun. It, it's a hero shooter, skirmisher in a battle royale environment. And it's literally since the inception of battle royale, it's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see heroes battling out, like skilled characters working in a squad together rather than actually being blanks that actually just kind of picks things up. Realm Royale tried it and I wasn't really massively fussed on, but I liked it. I liked where they were going with it. This feels like they've actually crafted characters that have uh, personalities, a little backstory to them that actually feels a little less um, generic let's say than anything else and um I'm, I'm, I've, I've done through a few many of the characters so far and i'm on to this one bangalore the professional soldier who looks like soldier 76 in style so far i do not make judgments soldier 76 is everybody needs a soldier 76 there should be one in nearly every game for the reason why is that because people are used to that style of character this one feels like they're 76 let's take a look at bangalore's kind of character costumes quips and everything else that's available and see what they can tell us about this character this professional soldier that's part of the combat first costume is the enforcer right so whenever i said soldier 76 i did not literally mean the first costume should actually be a glasses wearing soldier 76 but I honestly, like, I wasn't prepared for this, but I, it's exactly... Guys, okay. So, um, if they're making a point, they're making a point. But yeah, I like the design. Um, sunglasses look cool as fuck on this character. Uh, SWAT, patch on the shoulder. The uniform is simple. I like the design. Um, it's a very utilitarian costume design, especially for a legendary costume. But I feel like you're pretty much paying for the sunglasses <laughs> in this one. And uh, I've got a feeling that because it's SWAT for this one, we're probably going to see another, more Militaria, and we're going to see more um, police-style costumes. Let's jump into Officer Williams. See, that doesn't feel very officer-like, I suppose. It's a lot of white. I was expecting a bit more dark, but yeah. Uh, heroic peace officer, I suppose the best way to describe it. Peace officer, yeah. Is that, is that what you would say? Um, yeah, it's a different pattern and color over the Enforcer one. I'm not massively confused by the um, costume differences. It, it really, it, there's very, it feels small. It feels, it feels incrementally small, what they've done with the character costumes in this one. Let's hope that these ones are a little bit weirder. You know, something a little bit more off the wall. Space Walker. All right. I like this one. This is Starcom. Star, <laughs> Starcom um, Bangalore. I see her officer Williams. I'm trying to I want to know what her character name is because we've we met some we met some of the names and personalities of those other characters and we probably go and look a little, a little bit more. But uh Spacewalker Williams here is uh looking very dapper in their Starcom esque uniform. I'm expecting to see the magnetic boots underneath. I like the design of the materials, it all looks pretty cool. Um all space age and I'm on board with that. But uh yeah, visor and the helmet all look pretty cool too interesting alternate costume but it definitely is is it just me or am i getting like super uh, soldier 76 vibes from all of this so far that's surprising i honestly expected this to be a alternate color pattern of that but instead we have an actual fourth well we actually have a third legendary costume again um in the space age kind of costume design but almost like racing stripes and stuff as well this is like this almost looks like a wipeout pilot costume but i like it i like it a lot uh the full face visor is pretty cool too and um yeah i'm on board with that this uh, this almost feels like the corporate sponsored one would like that is that what it looks like to me yeah a corporate sponsored uniform but yeah i'm on board with that the mandalorian but um with sponsors <laughs> So yeah, the uh, next series of costumes are all going to be holographic materials. So it's a standard costume, but with a few changes, like certain layers of it are actually going to have this like, rolling pattern moving through it, as you can see with the colored lights. Um, not massively elaborate on this one, but we'll see more, obviously, in later ones. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 
Excuse me, folks. I've been just going through each of these characters and my throat is so raw from talking non-stop for the last three and a half hours. Um, yeah, let's see what else we've got in this. I mean, uh, uh, the fiber optics looks okay. It just, this character doesn't have a lot of active space for it to go on to. Unless it's like a big moving pattern, you're not going to see it. These little kind of wisps look cool, but uh, they're not doing anything massive. See, that one works a lot better. Demon Hunter works a lot better in this costume just because you got so little space. So you have to have the pattern fill a lot of it at the same time. And I like the speed that actually goes down the arms, different from the rest of the body. It's a much faster pattern. Yeah, this one works. I actually like Demon Hunter. Very garish and going to get you killed because people spot that out of nowhere. But um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Hack the system works on her. I actually like the, the green trim, green edging and shoulder pads and everything. Look good in this costume. Uh, the Lucio effect works well. <laughs> um, pattern looks interesting as well. But I, even just with that color green, I'm actually looking forward to seeing this in the flat common. Because there's like a color costume that's like this without the patterning on it. That actually will look pretty cool on her. Uh, Heatsink is um, kind of a, cr a crushed bronzy kind of thing going on. Or copper. Dirty copper. Kind of look for uh, edging on it. Rust, maybe even. But yeah, the heat pattern is very... Not very noticeable on the front of the costume at all. It's really noticeable, a bit more noticeable in the back. It's it's a small effect, but it looks nice. And I think the costume just looks really good with this color on it, in general. But um, not massively fussed. That looks cool. I think that pattern looks really well on this costume. It works well, because it's essentially, it's especially with the way it, it flows down to one side. It's actually going in this diagonal angle and it looks pretty cool. Um, it's like this bit here, wherever it actually comes across there, it looks really good. But yeah, I actually like, I really do like Neuronet on this one. Um, well, it's not too bad either. This costume's going to look good with simple color changes. Uh, it's just a lot of shapes and parts that actually kind of like will accent different colors. Nick skin. I say that, and then I immediately regret saying it. <laughs> the uncommon ones are literally just going to be a texture wraparound color. Uh, Snake skin. Yeah, I mean... The knee pads put it off for me. The boots and the arms and the body of it look great. The knee pads kind of half are in it. But I like the strapping and everything else looks pretty solid. It's uh, most of these, all these ones are going to look, uh, they're all going to look Metal Gear solidy, or they're going to just look like flat um, texture skins just laid over large portions of the body. We're losing a lot of detail and stuff because of that. And I'm not a huge fan. I, I like seeing the details in the character's costume. Dire Wolf. Yeah, that's a cool sniper costume. That's Arctic Sniper. I'm on board with that. Actually, that one looks really, really cool. That's a camo pattern I haven't seen in any of the other characters, so I'm on board with this on this character. It looks great. Varsity, 1990s, Saved by the Bell. It looks like the Saved by, by the, the Saved by the Bell intro music and intro theme and intro like animation just literally vomited all over her clothing. That That is awful. Um, I have seen photographs of my sisters in the 80s that ever had more taste than this. But it's awful in that kind of like, yeah, I'd wear that way. It's it's just garish as hell. Um, fair enough. <laughs> it, it, it takes out a lot of detail in this part of the costume, but you needed that to be able to see that whole pattern in display. Disruptor, um, again, to be honest, this one looks a bit like bad puke and rust. <laughs> actually, all over someone. That's pea soup and vomit all over the top, and carrot soup vomit all over the top of somebody's clothing. Not a fan. Fire support. I like the pattern. Not too sure of what it's meant to be. It's almost like fireballs or a comet falling or something. Or like a lip match even. But yeah, I like the color, the pattern to it, but I don't know. Again, garish as hell. Um, entertaining to wear, but I personally wouldn't choose it myself. Molten core. Again, solid good patterns. I just... It, all, losing all this detail here, you can actually still. The worst thing is, I know, I know about this one, is I can still see the studs and the stitching. But um, again, not a pattern I would choose. Some people might like it. Is it real? Which of those sayings, a lot of these top ones look pretty badass. I'm getting into the fact of just seeing like massive patterns over the top of this bodysuit. It's maybe not right if it's actually too uh, garish, but they're just doing it as actually option. This one looks okay because the positioning looks good on it. Um, I noped out of this previously, and I still am going to know about it because I don't like spiders, don't like spider webs in general, but it looks good in this character's costume. The knee pads, man. The knee pads. Mmm, annoys me. I don't like, don't like that pattern on the knee pads. Work for me. 
<laughs> regal raiments. So it actually does look like a knight's raiments, kind of like uh, the uh, under or the under part. What would you call that? It's almost like a vest or like a padded leather or padded cotton that was actually designed to protect you from slashes and marks. Um, yeah. I mean, if, you'd, if they'd gone, if this had actually been a legendary costume and they'd actually gone full night skier with her, I would get on board. But with it just being this and then being on those knee pads, too much. Ooh, this is a unique pattern for her. I haven't seen this on any of the other characters. In glass. Ooh, I like the pattern. But again, another one of them. Well, the knee pads actually not, not too bad in this either. All right. I would actually choose that one if I had to got that as an uncommon. Generation X. It looks tattered and unhappy, <laughs> like most Generation Xers. Um, yeah, looks almost like reeds or wood, but um, a simple kind of camo pattern works for me. It's not too bad. Electric synapse. Yep, yep, yep. I've seen that in other characters. I'm not a fan. Purgatory looks awful on this character, but knee pads on the boots too nah not a fan even even on the gar side that's actually just looked unpleasant death adder but death adder was the death adder was the villain from golden no no i don't go night golden axe wasn't it that was death adder darth adder was it? either way um the pattern looks good on this costume a uh, bit of a techno -y kind of thing going on with it uh like we hexagonals over and over again almost a biological thing maybe but uh yeah actually i like the look of this one the knee pads don't annoy me as much in this because you can't tell it almost looks like it's actually just a like a surface rather than actually a pattern that's repeating on it but yeah actually that one's probably fine burger breaker uh so te tech knight <laughs> that's essentially what it looks like this one looks cool it's a simple pattern um i actually like the fact you can still see some of the details better whenever you see the light reflecting on it uh the boots work well with this the pattern seems to actually just carry well on it. It repeats and it just has a bit of directionality to it. I like the design. Now, obviously on to the simple ones. Midnight looks good on most people. It's just, it's the it's solid black over the top of whatever was there. Cardinal, bit of a bright red. Um, Arctic looks good in this character. Um, uh, same as I said with the actual Arctic camo. Just this one looks winter, it's winter soldiery. Uh, I'm on board with that. Mandarin orange. And the rest of these are obviously going to be strapping and shaping, just doing the same thing over and over again. Orchard, always a fan because it's purple. Your water, Pino, evergreen. This is what I was chatting about earlier on. I actually like that. I really like that simple green. Although, bugger, the other green that we actually saw at the system had the whole shoulder pauldron green. And bits, it is actually, there's more detail in it. I'm a little bit annoyed at that. I kind of wish that had actually been done for the whole thing on this one as well. But. It is meant to be a common skin, so be on board with that. Lime green or lime knight. Lime knight is lime green. Yellow jacket, skyward, hydro, age, and Sahara. So all these are just going to be obviously color swaps. Um, so some of them look good, some of them don't. Um, I thought, I, I, honestly, I think it actually looks pretty good on this character, no matter what colors. Um, but evergreen is my favorite out of those. But I just wish it was more. I wish there was a little bit more green in that one. So. On to the frames for the characters. Uh, Jesus, she is not in a good mood as our standard one. But let's see what kind of legendary frames we got to go with it. Okay, unbelievably appropriate. Literally just like, Meteor Rain is just pissing her the fuck off. She is not amused with this bullshit. It's time to move on. I do not want to be part of this anymore. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like that now myself. Just with my voice starting to go. Boom, there it is. Boom, there it is. <laughs> All right, cool. I, li I like the ordinance. It actually is appropriate. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what other facial animations <laughs> she's got to go with this. But right now, she looks like a hard ass that's got nothing to lose. Um, this one, weapon check. Uh, I like it because it actually does do the whole gun breakdown thing. But nah, I think that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the lowest of them so far. <laughs> Fire and Fury. If, if this was, if, if, if the flame didn't under this bit here i'd be like 25 percent more on board with this banner but it didn't so i'm not <laughs> bulletproof it's a dum dum bullets out of uh who framed roger rabbit awesome because uh, admittedly they, they did lose their like racist connotations and their hats 
but I, I get the context. Either that, or it's the ones from JoJo's. Is this a JoJo's? Is this a JoJo's reference? <laughs> it actually is, apparently. Uh, smoke signal. Yes. Um, it's as a simple uncommon. It's not looking massive. I like the True Patriot one. That actually has a pretty solid background, just as a standalone still one. Tag you're it. Yeah, pair of tags. Full spectrum dominance. <laughs> I just fucking missiles everywhere. Armed and dangerous. All these are kind of standard looking ones. They look very Gears of war -y, especially with this color type that are thrown over the top of the character. I don't know if I like this color tint because you imagine you pick one that's actually not orange and it's make everything goddamn orange. And a well, look across these. Yeah. But actually, well, full spectrum. But uh, True Patriot is a bit orangey. Uh, Tiger Red, I actually like the purple cast in this one. So it doesn't even matter what costume you have. Your character still looks badass in purple there. Uh, playing background, full mag, lost count, track, fatigues, and flag out. And I actually like the flag out color scheme that actually it casts over the top of the character. Onto the poses. Damn right. I knew that. Was, I, I knew that the guns have uh, gone by like, the pose at attention and like gun spinning was going to be on this character. In my head, I always saw it. I immediately saw it. It's the first one that's available. Uh, so yeah, I, I like the design. It makes sense with the character. She seems, it seems very militaristic. Seems very super serious. Seems very by the book and is a soldier by soldier's sake kind of thing. I'm going like, right, I can get this and get behind that. CQC, motherfucker. <laughs> I like that. Although it feels weird that you would let, it get, let the trainer dummy get that goddamn close. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm glad we saw something that was a little bit more of a... Hmm, kind of like a, the, the character smiles themselves a little bit at least. I mean, this is because they're actually doing their shit right. This one is actually just like, I'm goofing around a wee bit. Okay. Hey. <laughs> it's a very curt nod. Posed and serious. Locked and loaded. I like that one a lot. Armed and dangerous. Out on patrol. Smoke out. Good action pose. Again, the good, good glare. Dead rights and obviously the character. This character appears to be super serious. I'm curious to know what the quips are going to be. I don't think there's going to be anything personal about these. I think we're going to get the same thing that we got from maybe Lifeline, where it's going to be very actively related to I am like that person was like I repair things, I repair you, I might end you. That was the three things that were pretty much said in Lifeline's one. I think this is going to be um, I will the, the, the honor of a soldier with uh, total dominance of explosions. <laughs> that's that's, a, that's the tone I'm thinking is going to come from the quips. Let's see what we got. Better find me before I find you. Total dominance. Come get some. Move it or die. Again. <laughs> get ready for a light show. Explosions. Yep. No such thing as auto aim, ladies. <laughs> I like that one. I, I, I just like the fact there's a bit of uh, self awareness in it, but yeah. You make contact, you better finish the job. Artillery sounds like music to me. <laughs> I'm not hard to understand. Death is my Shit. language. Shit! Holy fuck! <laughs> Don't bring a pistol to an artillery fight. Don't matter what you run, just how you use it. <laughs> I want this for crossplay, specifically just that line. Don't matter what you run, just how you use it. <laughs> I want crossplay. I think just, just people can be using that line against PC players and or PC players like doing that to console players. You know, just it, it, it's a there is a constant shit talk about that, but I, I just like the that would actually be convenient. Don't miss. I won't. Get ready for a world of hurt. Want a tip? Go back to boot camp. Heads up for a pucker factor. <laughs> a pucker factor of 0 0.9. One would be total pucker. <laughs> Pistols to artillery. I can do it all. Your call. Nice. Name the weapon. I'll still beat you. That's cool. Okay. 
I'm ready today. <laughs> I'm ready all month. All right. I'm starting to see a charm in the um, total dominance. It's actually like a, a self-assuredness, and I'm actually liking the character design because of it. This is pretty fucking cool. Um, yeah, I can see myself playing as this character just just for the the taglines alone. Locked and loaded. Make each round count. Maybe this time I'll open both Ooh, eyes. It's like burn. <laughs> Shoot ready. Right. Looks like aiming isn't your strong suit. Yeah, I'm expecting a lot of insults in this. I'm expecting them to actually be like you shouldn't. Like you shouldn't even stood against me. Bad effect on target, Rook. On this field, you gotta be prepared for anything. You can't dodge heavy artillery. Did you think the trigger would pull yeah. itself? Don't knock yourself. I put my time in long ago. Drop shocked and rocked. Say hello to the 4 first. First one through the door is usually the first one in a body bag. Good initiative, bad judgment. I got the best of you today. Good initiative, bad judgment. Try again. Okay. Here's a tip. Know what you're doing. You need to hit the range more. Ever heard of a stock? Barrel stabilizer? How about skills? <laughs> you might want to find you oh, some. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, murdered by words, my friends. <laughs> That's brilliant. Actually, that'll, that'll be my line of choice. Ever heard of a stock? Barrel stabilizer? <laughs> How about skills? <laughs> you might want to find you some. All right, and I, the alternate takes got a little bit more jokiness to it. <laughs> Not going to say this was too easy, but I may have had one eye closed. I said danger close. Weren't you listening? <laughs> I'm quicker than you think. Keep that in mind next time. You're just another KIA on my resume. Ooh. You sure you didn't just make it out of basic training? Kill confirmed. Gonna add you to the list. Like a deer in the headlights. And on the headlights. <laughs> no substitute for real steel. You're not even worth the chalk to tally. Not your day, shooter. You play dead like a pro. Ooh. <laughs> you play dead like a pro. I like the fact that the tone... Because like, some of the other characters, whenever you listen to their second take... Some of these actually have second takes. Um, her second takes do you have a very different tone? Or are they actually like one one feels much more jokey than the other one? Rate of fire means nothing when you miss all the time. What happened? Recoil hit you in the <laughs> face? Huh? So that's what fear smells like. <laughs> oh, I like the darkness. Take a breather. You lost this one. First you lose your cool, then you lose your head. Too slow on the draw. Training dummies move faster than you. What are you? The FNG? What is that FNG? Uh, guys, in the comments underneath, tell me what an FNG is. <laughs> what happened? Your weapon malfunction? Or did you? This is what happens when your unit goes AWOL. You just got caught on the wrong end of my muzzle. I can tell from your shooting hand you ain't no operator. You bleed, you sweat, you get what you put in. I'm gonna give you the bottom line up front. You lost this one. You shooting blanks or you just miss a lot? <laughs> Big, small, don't matter. You're just target practice to me. Don't matter who you are back in the world. You're in my house now. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, like, that's literally, that, that's what the tone I thought was going to be put across. It's like, this this is a professional soldier. Uh, that's literally what their title is. <laughs> so, that's what it's going to be. Dang! They just... Ow! The grenade shot you in the face, <laughs> but that you don't, like, activate the grenade? Jesus. All right. Also... Only two finishers for this character? Interesting. Oh, take their gun and use it against them? Okay. Yeah. I actually li I like the both of these. Uh, like, I mean, that's the, the first finisher feels like the jokey one for this character. Probably as jokey as she will probably get um, in combat. 
But uh, it kind of fits in with the grenade bounce on the arm or for the other one. But yeah, the reverse of fortune feels exactly appropriate for character. Just the fact that I see literally being, I'll take your shit and I'll fucking end you with it. Um, but yeah, but sure there's only two of them, so this is interesting. Like the there, there does feel like an an asymmetric release to content for each of the characters. Some have more lines, some have more costumes, some have more colors, some have more uh, banners. Like it, 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 there's a reason why behind it. I'm sure that they just didn't have certain things released and ready. And we'll be obviously seeing a lot more release through the door for sale. But uh, these are the ones that are actually available to us right now. And um, I would actually personally take the Grenade Finisher. It looks cool. Boom. Quite cold. And a lot of the characters seem to actually have this like first person perspective one where you don't you see, you see it. You see your death from that point. Well, a lot of the second and third ones feel to be like out of your own body experiences that you see the person die. But yeah, I'm liking them. I'm, like, I'm liking the finishers a lot. Okay, let's take a look at Bangalore's uh active skills because this, this character i have not looked at at all yet so far to passive double time taking fire while sprinting makes you move faster for a brief time right <laughs> makes sense if you're running for cover or trying to close distance while under fire to actually increase your sprint speed that'd be insane especially if you come at them unarmed you already run pretty damn fast in this game if you don't have a weapon in your hand <laughs> and i could see her just running in and just cold clocking somebody while a fucking fist straight through the face so um, I could see that as actually being a useful, useful close and attack and switch to weapon once you're in combat, or obviously to pull distance to get away from somebody or into cover. Uh, smoke launcher, tactical, fire high velocity smoke canister explodes into a smoke wall and impact. Boom! So literally, you've got you, you can toss smoke. This, this is the uh, this isn't a COD character. This is actually a CS:GO character in a battle royale shooter. And I like it. I like that idea. I like the idea of pulling smoke. That works really well. I'm on board with that. That's pretty cool. Uh, ultimate rolling thunder. Call in an artillery strike that slowly creeps across the landscape. <coughs> Holy shit. So artillery strike that actually, I'm assuming you actually paint the target and it just paints a stripe across from where it is. Dropping one bomb after another. I like that. I like that concept. I want to see it in use. I want to see it actively used and effectively used. I'm very curious to see how big of a scope that actual explosion would be. Yeah, um, that was Bangalore. Interesting character design. Uh, what I first thought was going to be uh, Soldier 76 kind of jokingly looks like a Soldier 76 in some of their costumes. But like I said, it's, it's not the odd auto shooter. It feels like a CSGO character dropped into a game like this. Just from the loadout skills so yeah I, I i'm looking forward to seeing combat i'm looking forward to playing as this character a little bit just to kind of see how well they work but um uh, the thing is all the guns are picked up in game so you, do, you don't see this character always going to be having a assault rifle or whatever else curious smoke grenade and closing distance I want to know if this character is actually it's got a bit of a melee boost i mean i'm sure there's actually a lot of stats around each of these characters each of the heroes will have separate hp bars and whatever else does this person actually have a good melee because i'd like to know if they say close distance knock a fucker out and pick up someone and i could imagine them being really useful at the very beginning of game dropping straight into combat rather than actually you know like people hunt around pick up gear and then engage with people I think she could actually literally run straight into an area, smoke bomb it on the way down, and then just run up and punch the shit out of like two or three of characters. They're actually in an area before they even picked up weapons and then clear the completely wipe the area clear of equipment. It's just, in my head, that's what it looks like and that's what it sounds like and like what you would play with Bangalore, but I could be completely wrong. If you have a different opinion, make sure to throw it in the comments underneath. It's just like a thought that I had of this character. Um I'm getting more excited as I go through character to character through this. I'm just enjoying the backstories, the uh, personalities of the heroes that we have available. If it, it, I've got a feeling that we're going to see a lot more legends added to this if this game is successful. Like a starting roster of eight, solid enough to work with, but I could see a lot of these skills being swapped out, changed around, or more characters fitting into each of these roles as we go along. Because we already have two that are purchasable. We'll be moving on to Caustic and Mirage in the next couple of videos. But... That's, that's us done with the flat roster. This is the last one of the first five. Or sorry, first six. First six. Because the five done, this will be the sixth. Um, guys, thank you so much. If you've actually watched through this series from the first video on Bloodhound to now, uh, do stick around. We will do Caustic and Mirage. But I want to say thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure going through these characters. I'm actually hyped for this. 
I loved Titanfall 2. I thought it was a really fun campaign. And I want to actually play more games, more game like that. I wanted Respawn to get something out. This is finally here. Let's get in there and play it. I hope to see you actually online. Uh, catch me on PlayStation or on PC. And um, I look forward to actually playing with you guys in the next session. Uh, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual things. And you might see boxes popping up somewhere around the boxes, around the edges, any second now. Just telling you about the playlist and anything you might have missed. If you haven't watched all of the videos that are on this, feel free to check them out. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.